All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some more turkey patterning. And I've got another combination out here today that we haven't tried yet, and one that I'm really looking forward to seeing how it does. I think we should see some pretty decent results because we know that this is a good shell, but I think it's gonna come down to whether or not the shot size in this particular shell works well through this constriction choke. So for the shell I've got out here today, I've got some more of these, which I'll pull one out of the bag so you can see it. But these are a Salt Creek custom load. It's a three inch two ounce load of lead fours over lead sixes and we've tested this a few times with some pretty decent results but it's definitely been a little bit of a tricky load to really fine tune with a really good choke combination for it so hopefully today's setup might be a really good combination for it and that setup is my remington 1187 premier here again with this choke. This is a Cabela's Black Max 660 constriction turkey choke. Now, like I mentioned a minute ago, I think it's gonna come down to whether or not that stacked fours over sixes likes a 660 choke, because this choke has performed very well for us with this constriction. But as for the test, we're gonna run it the same as we usually do. I have the turkey target set up down at 40 yards. I also have the chronograph, so we'll be able to see what kind of speed we're running. I think these are normally low 1200s-ish, 1220, 1230, but we'll see how close my memory is to what these actually run here. But let's get you guys set up with a view of this turkey target. I'll head up and take our shot. We'll glance at our chrono real quick and then we'll go down to 40 yards and see how they actually performed. So let's head over here and shoot them and see what this combination gives us. Okay, so that shell gave us 1160 through the chrono. So it was almost up around that 1200 that I kind of remembered. But either way, that 1160 is still perfectly right in that 1150 to 1250 range that I like to see out of a lead turkey shell like this. So absolutely nothing out of the ordinary or anything weird to see. But how do they actually perform down range? Let's go down and take a look. All right, so now we're down here at our 40 yard target and this is what we got. Now we absolutely have a dead bird here. There's several in the brain and a bunch more down the spine there. So absolutely a dead turkey. Now I do think that the pattern was a touch to the left on this one. So that combination probably just shoots to the left a little bit, but that just goes to show that this pattern does give you some leeway to work with. But speaking of the whole pattern here, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's pretty, even throughout most of the core area of that pattern there there's really not what i would call a ton of flyers i mean you have a couple over there in the top right and a couple more down towards the bottom there but for a lead load that has sixes in it this is pretty good because a lot of times lead loads of sixes like to have flyers like that but i mean as for a central core area here there's nowhere within at least a basketball size and probably bigger than that that bird can move to and get away or get through that pattern he is absolutely going to be a dead bird from pretty much all the way to the left there all the way across to the right edge of that turkey paper absolutely now you guys probably can't tell on camera but I can tell here in person that it's a pretty even mix right here in this core area of number fours and number sixes. So it's definitely not like patchy where you have fours on one half and sixes on the other half or something like that. It's pretty evenly spread out throughout that central area between fours and sixes. So that's definitely a good thing to see you're gonna be hitting that bird with both fours and sixes. So overall here, I really don't have many complaints about that. For a stacked lead load like that, I think that's gonna be about as good as you're gonna get out of it. So absolutely a turkey killing pattern right there. And I definitely think it worked pretty well, or at least about as well as it could with that Black Max 660 choke. So definitely not really too much to complain about on this one. And here's the wad out of that shell. And as you can see, it looks pretty much perfect. I mean, there's no rips or tears. There's nothing stuck down in there at all. It opened up almost perfectly even here. So nothing really too special to take note of on this one. It's not any kind of a special flight control wad or anything like that, but clearly it does the job for these shells. And I really don't see anything else to take note of on this one. Definitely nothing special here. 
All right, y'all. Well, what did you think about that performance there? Definitely looking pretty good and probably with how that load is loaded, what kind of pellets, what size pellets, the wad, that's probably about as good as we're going to see. And clearly it is more than good enough to take a bird out to 40 yards and it's not doing anything weird or unexpected when it's flying down range either. So I really don't have too many complaints about that. It gives you good leeway, gives you a good coverage or mix between fours and sixes. It's not blown wide open so overall i'd call it a pretty good looking stacked lead load but as usual leave your thoughts in the comments let me know what you think about it would you use that load or have you used that load or a similar stacked load like that and what has been your results if you have tried something like that let me know what y'all think down in the comments but with that being said i've got another test or two i want to film out here today for you guys so stay tuned we've got plenty more stuff coming and a few new loads that we haven't tried yet either. So keep an eye out for all those. But with that being said, as usual, we have an Instagram and a mailbox now, which I'll leave all that information down in the description for you if you're interested. And on that note, I'm going to get back to it. So I'll see y'all in the next one.